Welcome back. In this session, we're going to learn about functions which are capable of solving nonlinear optimization problems. And we'll investigate four functions here. The first one is f min b n d, which is capable of solving single variable nonlinear problems. And if you are going to use f min bnd, your problem must have only one decision variable. And for multiple variables, we have these functions f min search and f min unc, unconstrained. These are capable of solving multivariable unconstrained problems. And f min search is not performing well in high dimensional spaces. However, if the problem has discontinuities, f min search will be better, especially in lower dimensions, for example, for two or three decision variables. But f min unc is generally better than f min search. However, I said that in discontinuities of function, over objective function, f min unc is not working well and for constraint problems f min con is available and we can use f min con to solve constrained optimization problems we we'll learn how to use four of these functions for example let's solve this problem we want to find the value of x which minimizes this function for example, x cubed minus 5x plus 1. And first, let's plot this function. Let's define the function here, the function of x. And x cubed minus 5x minus plus 1. And we can use easy plot to plot this. And we can turn on grid. And you see we have the a local optimum here from 0 to for example 2 we have a local optimum here and if i zoom here you can find that here it's about 1.3 i think and we can use f min bnd to find this minimum f min bnd we pass f to it and from minus 1 to 5 for example and that's 1.29 that's very close to our guess 1.29 that will be there and that's it if bnd is capable of finding minimum of functions and that works you can also use f min search to find the solution of this let's see the documentation of f min search and we must provide the function and an initial value and okay f min search f and an initial value of 2 for example that will give us the local optimum here and that works fine also for f min unc f min unconstrained Similarly, we provide the function and initial a guest solution and f min unc f and 2 as our initial solution and that will give us the 1.29 and they are almost same. However, f min bnd is capable of solving functions of only one variable but it accepts a range and searches the range to find the minimum of the function of the single variable function provided to the function okay if we want for example find the zero of a function we can use f min bnd for example if we want to solve this equation then it is equivalent to minimizing the absolute value of this the value of x which minimizes the absolute value of this function is the root of this equation too. So we can define another function g which is function of x 
and returns absolute value of x cubed minus 5x plus 1 and if you easy plot this g and put it on you will get this value and the, it has three roots here and for example if you search from minus 2 to 2 you'll get this root and let's zoom here and find out what's the root and that's about 0 0.2 and we can use fmin bnd to find the minimum of this function from minus 2 to 2 and that's it that's the one of the roots of this function and for example from minus 5 to minus 2 we'll get another root and from 2 to 5 we'll get the third root and these are the roots of our function and here you can use the roots function to find the roots of this roots 1 0 minus 5 and 1 and these are the roots of this polynomial and you see fmin bnd works fine and generally you can pass nonlinear terms to these functions and find solutions of those functions as well and here for the purpose of testability we provided a polynomial however you can change this function with whatever function you want and okay you can use you can convert root finding problems into nonlinear op optimization problems okay let's define another optimization problem of two variables for example assume the rosenbrock function in two-dimensional space which is given by f of x equals to 100 times x2 minus x1 squared x1 squared squared plus 1 minus x1 squared and we know that the optimal solution of this is 1 for both of decision variables we can use fmin search and fmin unc to find the solutions of this problem okay let's clear and let's define f the rosenbrock function as 100 times x2 minus x1 squared squared plus 1 minus x1 squared that's it we have the function and we can find the minimum of this function using passing some initial values to it f and for example 0 and 0 and it will give us one and one the exact solution of the problem also fmin unc works fine on this example and it also returns one and one as the solution of the rosenbrock function optimization and as another example let's have a problem of constraint type for example assume that we want to design a box with given dimensions and this is x this is y and this is z and the volume of this box is x y and z also the total area of this box and the amount of paper for example needed to create such box is given by 2 times xy plus xz plus yz and we want to maximize the volume of this box which is given by product of x y and z subject to that the surface the area of paper used to create such a box is for example less than or equal to 150 and given that x y and z are all positive numbers and this is a constraint optimization problem and we'll use fmincon to find the solution of this problem and you know that the solution will be a cube where x y and z are all equal okay let's go into matlab and define our program and problem in a new m file and i clear the workspace and screen and close all graphs let's define v as a function of x where x contains all of three dimensions of this 
box it is given by x1 times x2 and x3 we rename the variables x to x1 y to x2 and z to x3 and this is the volume of this that box and s is a function of x and can be given by 2 times x1 times x2 plus x1 times x3 plus x2 times x3 and that's it and for f min con let's see the documentation here for f min con we must pass a function an initial solution and some constraints here well, just like linear programming problems and we have nonlinear constraints as well which is given to the function here after lower bound and upper bound and the general form of this must be in this form you can define this as function where returns the c and c equal the left hand side of these inequality and equations and we return c and c equal here so let's go back to function and for example cons or for example my cons of x and also we can define these v and s as functions if we want to be able to call them and use them inside these functions as well so let's define these functions here and function v has volume of x and let's return this value let's return this value and we can also let's remove these blank lines and function s surface or area of this x and it is equal to this value and now you can use surface let's remove these values you can use surface and volume here for example we assume that we have a inequality constraint which is surface of x minus 150 this must be less than zero and that means the surface of x must be less than or equal to 150 and c equal is empty because we don't have any nonlinear equality constraints here and that's the constraints and let's find the solution of this problem f min con accepts the function which can be the volume an initial condition for example one 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 and we don't have any a and b here a equal and b equal are also empty and for lower bounds we can define zero and we don't have any upper bounds here and for nonlinear constraints we pass the function handle for the function my cons and that's it let's save this and if we run this program by hitting f5 this is the value of x here you see and the value of f val is this and because we are going to minimize the volume here actually according to the syntax of nonlinear programming model given here we must modify the program to give us the minus volume the negated volume to make the algorithm capable of maximizing the value of volume because the problem we defined here is of the maximization type and the problem type f min con accepts is of the minimization type so we negate the objective function to properly define the nonlinear problem here and let's run the program to get the solution and if you run the program you'll get x as this and if you calculate the volume of this you'll get f val as this now let's remove this semicolon from here to have the solutions displayed by program and this is the volume and you see all of them are equal so the optimum solution of the problem equals to a cube 
And for example, let's add some other constraints. Okay, now assume that we have a constraint of this form in our model. And for example, 2 times y must be less than or equal to z. And if you convert this to a standard format, we'll get 2y minus z less than or equal to 0. You can specify this with A and B matrices here in this documentation because that's a linear constraint and you can pass A and B here just like linear programming models. And you can add this here, for example. Uh, and we have two members for the C here and the other member is 2 times x2 instead of y minus x3. And that's the constraint that this must be, if we rewrite this equation in other form, this is equal to y less than or equal to z divided by 2. That's y might not be greater than half of the size of the box in, the, in this direction. So let's see what is the best solution for this problem and let's run the program and we'll get this. Here the 2 times x2 minus x3 is almost 0 and this is exactly equal to the half of this size. However the third one is not equal to them and here the solution is not a complete cube and the total volume is reduced in comparison with the whole cube because there we have this volume and here we have 117. Just because this constraint we have here, you can pass this constraint using A and B if you want, but here is okay and that's it. And we solved a constraint problem using fmincon and we can solve more problems and complicated problems using this fmincon if you want. However, it's enough for this video tutorial, I think. And let's have your comments on our web pages and YouTube channel and wherever you see these video tutorials. Hope these video series are helpful for you and good luck.